Hi, and welcome to my craft room. Happy fall, happy of the changing of the colors. I just came out in from outside and thought I'd do a little crafting this afternoon. With fall, not only do we get the colors changing and the smells of pumpkin spice and cinnamon, oh, the cinnamon smell that they have at the stores because of the cinnamon pine cones, my God, it's so strong, but it definitely uh, makes you think of the holidays. One thing that we start to do this time of year is think about our holiday cards. I'm no different than you. I have holiday cards that I want to do. But one thing I do struggle with, and you may also, is what to say on the front of a card. There's, we have so many stamps that have such great sentiments to them for the holidays, but how do we choose which one do we want? That's something I have struggled with in the past, and I want to avoid that this year. I want to avoid the uh, frustration of what to say on a card. So I came up with this method, and I hope you can try it with your stamps and enjoy it as much as I have. So let me show you how I went about this and what kind of the technique I used. And I do hope that you can try this on your holiday cards as well. The first thing I did was gather all my Christmas holiday stamps. And I looked at all the sentiments within all those stamps and I picked the ones that are long sentiments that can fit on a four and a quarter by five and a half card. Then arrange all of them. I didn't, there's no rhyme or reason to the sentiment. It's just whichever ones fit in the strips going across. Some are long, some are short, and then I have enough room that if I cut this card down, it's not going to affect anything except for maybe the happy holidays it is a little long. I may get some of that cut off. So I grabbed a bunch of different ones, cardstock that I'm going to use, and I'm going to start with just doing the ones that are for white embossing. Since I have a container of the white, I'm going to go ahead and do those first. Then I can clean up and do the clear. And if I need to, I can do colored as well, but I'm going to start with the white and go ahead and emboss those. So I have the verse mark, I have my fine detail white and my cornstarch or whatever it is. So I'm just going to put that all over the paper. Now don't laugh. I don't have one of those special tools. So I just use my pencil sharpener and a floor thing and I put it on. The blessed is crooked. Ah, I'll fix that later, but for this one, I'm going to let it go. Uh, as somebody once said, I heard, if it's not crooked, it's not homemade. <laughs> Whoever came up with the idea to put embossing powder in the glad containers is a genius. There's the red and the green background. This is one of those patterns that I didn't like that was in the Christmas pack. I'm not sure these colors, how they thought they were for the holidays, but I'm hoping that by putting some white on there, maybe it will make it look more like a holiday. And then if we put a die cut or something on there, Look how it just shines on that brown. Wow. Wow, look at that. I never would have thought the, these colors would look good on Christmas, but wow, with that, that kind of makes a better background than the ones I just did with the plane. What a nice, what a surprise that is. That came out really nice. So here I've got the, the white. Now I'll go ahead and I'll switch over to gold and see what those look like with the gold embossing. Pulled some of this and this and thinking that with the gold. I did find doing the gold on the white pattern paper, it didn't show up as much as I thought it would, but the, it is there. It's just not as predominant as it was on the red and the green with the red and the gold 
that came out perfect. I really enjoyed that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick video about how to do some mass backgrounds. And I do hope that you get into your stamps and pull the all the different sentiments that you have and create a background stamp for yours. Thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this technique and I hope you get a chance to get out in your garden or look around your neighborhood to other gardens and enjoy this time of year. Have a great day.